There they all are. And what, what an interesting lot of celebrities we've got left. Amongst them are a psychologist who's mad about dancing, a rugby player making a marvellous try, a, a, a star from Holby who doesn't want to be our next casualty, and a politician that nobody can vote out. <laughs> There's a bit of political satire. Nice. Yeah. That's only... That's only half of it. Artem had a really bad injury at rehearsal this afternoon, pulled his shoulder very badly. We didn't know whether he'd be able to finish that dance and to do it the way you did. What a pro you are. Oh, yeah, yeah. What a pro. Thank you. So, just, how are you feeling? Not too bad. I had to go and hurt him again. That didn't feel very nice. <laughs> well, you'll hurt him again. Right. time at this rate, we really will. I tried to count all the wriggles you did. I, I lost count up to 2,000. I really did. Unbelievable. How then, Len? Well, I'm almost in agreement with Craig. I enjoyed the whole... Th I wasn't too keen on them flip-flops at the end. Really. Oh. I had nothing... Well, I had nothing to do with the samba. We expected... We expected to no, they to expected say that. you to say Well, that. of course. <laughs> The thing is, because you can do something, doesn't mean you've got to put it into the routine. It's all right. If it's it's all right. Got, you know, I, a boy at my school could fart God Save the Queen, but it doesn't to do with the samba. You oh, wouldn't. Do, well, I'm sorry. There was Bruce. no need for that. I do no, apologise. No need for that. Anyway, it was lovely. But, oh, sorry. <laughs> <laughs> it's all right. No, go on. All right. Well, Just a minute. Just a minute. Hold on. One more time. <laughs> Come on. I'm sure that's what. <laughs> oh, and you, you've done it now, I tell you. That was it. That was it. Right, now then, uh, Craig, <laughs> why is it always you as to start off with that? Anyway. What, you... <laughs> what are you laughing at? It was lovely, listen to that. Well, we all loved it, we all loved it. I can't, I can't stop it. I can't, whoa! There you are. Well, they really enjoy that, both of you. And, uh, of course, we have our judges. Congratulations, Craig and Len. Your autobiographies are still selling very, very well. And well done, Bruno. You finally finished your book. And uh, you coloured in the animals beautifully. <laughs> You did, with your, with your crayon, and I'm going to give you a dime. <laughs> <Right>. <laughs> Seven days ago on the dance floor, far, far away. A ballroom battle out of this world featuring the princess, the farm boy, the lovable Rose, the Wookiee's wife, the handsome drawer. And one woman set on intergalactic dance domination. <laughs> the creators of Strictly Halloween and Vegas Specials now bring you Movie Night. Why are you naked? Well, based on a true story. Oh, behave. This is Strictly Come Dancing. Shock. 2010. Getting more ridiculous by the day. And, uh, yes, do you want to go for seconds? Never mind. <laughs> right, and of course, let's welcome our judges. It goes without saying, they have all the qualities needed for movie making. Alicia is beautiful enough to be in romantic movies. Bruno is funny enough to be in comedy movies. Craig is scary enough to be in horror movies. <laughs> and Len is old enough, like me, to appear in silent movies. <laughs>
Lady, did you notice the way I helped to take the brunt of that? So you would right. have an old joke on your own. I thought together we're strong. Right. OK, <laughs> now, pity you couldn't finish the dress. Um, <laughs> well, funnily enough... Oh. Thank you so much. Right, now then, um, I love the start, by the way. I'm so glad I taught you that. Um, <laughs> certainly have. Tonight we have five dances. Tomorrow night there'll be another five dances. And Sunday night there'll be two eliminations. I don't think you people at home have ever had such a treat. What do you mean, all that dancing? No, three nights of me. <laughs> How are you Sorry, smiling? I'm so happy for you, I really am. <laughs> the way you jumped at him there. Oh, wonderful. Well what a great start. Great start to the show. And of course, <laughs> let's welcome our judges. That's enough. That's enough. A group of wise old birds they are. Bruno is like an old mother hen. <laughs> Elysia is as pretty as a peacock. Len has the eyes of a hawk, and if Craig carries on upsetting people, he'll soon be dead as a dodo. <laughs> <laughs> you false the laughers. Okay, well now. Stepping into his singing and dancing shoes, please welcome the original Mr. Saturday Night. It's Bruce Forsyth. Once upon a time, in a neat little cottage, there lived three bears. Now one was a mama bear, and one was a daddy bear, and one was a wee bear. Hey, Baba wee bear. One day when I was walking in the deep witch's stalking, came a little gal with blonde hair. Oh, she's nice. Now her name was Goldilocks, yeah. and upon that door she knocked. Oh. But no one was there. Oh, so she went right in, had a real good time, cause she didn't care. She even broke a chair. A chair? Yeah. Oh, soon she got sleepy, went to bed upstairs. When home, home, home came three bears, someone beneath my porridge, said the daddy bear. Someone beneath my porridge, said the daddy bear. Hey, Papa Wee Bear said the little Wee Bear, who's the girl who broke my chair? Someone's been sleeping in my bed, said the Mama Bear. Someone's been sleeping in my bed, said the Daddy Bear. Hey, Papa Wee Bear said the little Wee Bear, who's the girl who broke my chair? Just then, a golden locks woke up, broke up the party and breathed out there. Bye bye, bye bye, said the Mama Bear. Goodbye. He woke up, broke up the party and beat it out there. Bye bye, bye bye, bye said the mama bear. Goodbye, bye, bye said the daddy bear. Hey, mama wee bear, said the little wee bear. So it's the story of the three bears. So don't forget, children. Oh, whatever you do, don't go down to the woods tonight. Why not, Bruce? Cause the bears will get ya. <laughs> That's it. We have our three finalists, Kamla, Kara and Matt. Next week they will tackle four dances each in their bid to become Strictly Champion. Who wins this year will be decided entirely by you, the public. It all kicks off on Saturday at 7. Be there. Yes. Oh. 
And of course, and of course, we have our judges. They're all very excited about the final, but they're also very glad the series is coming to an end, especially Bruno, because his medication is starting to wear off. <laughs> Right, and uh, when I can just say that when I see Craig and Len together at this time of the year, I always think the same thing. I always think the same thing. Where's Cinderella? <laughs> oh, <laughs> and, and Alicia, you're very beautiful, darling, but you wouldn't be a good Cinderella. You really wouldn't, because at midnight you're only just going out, aren't you? <laughs> So I've heard, so I've heard clubbing it and all that. Anyway, time to get together. Keep dancing! dancing.